What's up world, it's your boy Drew Marcy, here for How to Rap, mentor to the motivated leader of the legends, rap coach extraordinaire, and in this video, we're gonna tell you how to stay motivated to make music throughout your entire career. Let's go. Now before we start, of course we're dropping daily videos right now with daily articles, so be sure to subscribe with the beautiful notifications. Join our Noti gang so that you can be the first to get all the best information and start implementing it today. But regardless, let's answer your question, how to stay motivated to make music. The first and most important secret that you can get is getting around other musicians. You've got to be around other people who are motivated. Now let's break this down in depth. If you find yourself being as a rapper, as a musician, somewhat of a homebody, somebody who spends a lot of time on their own, just to let you know you're not weird, that's not strange, that's actually completely normal. I can remember hearing John Lennon himself, Beatles legend, saying that he is a homebody, he likes to spend time alone, and I thought, oh, okay, well, I kind of relate to that. Obviously, you have to spend a lot of time on your own to even get good at something like music, whether it's guitar for somebody like the Beatles or rap in the studio for somebody like yourself. But if you find yourself being a little introverted, just to let you know, that's actually totally normal, but you're gonna have to push yourself to get outside. And even if you're not ever gonna be naturally extroverted, this is something that you need to practice so that those times that you feel weak, there are other people to hold you accountable. If you really think about about it, probably the first time that you decided you wanted to rap, you were on your own. Probably the first time you tried to write a rap, you were on your own. Or maybe the second or third time that the first time you wanted to rap was with a homie because y'all were making joke songs like is in the case with me. Probably most of the videos that you watch to try to get inspired, like myself and the other coaches in the music industry, is on your own. Being by yourself and getting a lot of energy and getting your, your batteries recharged by yourself is totally the way that most musicians operate. But in order to climb this mountain, known as the music industry, climb this mountain known as staying motivated, climb this mountain known as getting to a new version of yourself, the best version of yourself as a musician, you're gonna need somebody along the way. So let's run with this. Just imagine your musical development and your motivation in music as climbing a mountain, right? And so you see this mountain every single day outside of your local town or in your local city, and you look up at it and, and it's just a beautiful thing to look at. You hear stories of other people who've reached the summit of the mountain, who's reached the top, and that was inspiring to you. And over time, you decide, okay, I'm gonna climb the mountain too. I've heard other people that can do it. Uh, it's super inspiring. I see it every day. I, something's just calling me to climb this thing, uh, so I'm gonna do it. And I made the decision, probably on my own, that I'm gonna conquer this and just show the world I can really do it. So you just pick a day, you've gotten all the tools necessary to climb the mountain, and you start walking, right? And it's a nice Saturday afternoon, you're super excited, for the first hour or so. You're like, yo, I'm, I'm climbing this thing, man. You know, I'm gonna prove all the people who said I couldn't do that wrong. Everybody else down there looking at it. I'm gonna come, next time I see all them, I'll be like, yeah, you, you see you see the mountain we see every day, man. I've been done that. Like, that's what I do. I'm a mountain climbing, right? Like, so you're walking and it's beautiful. But after the first hour, and, and so the initial excitement of I've decided to climb the mountain wears off, you start sweating, the afternoon sun starts to beat on you. You start to feel, you know what I mean? God, I mean, I could, I could be, I mean, I could be back home probably watching more mo mountain documentaries. You know what I'm saying? That was, that's what, what got me inspired in the first place, right? You walk in and you're thinking all this stuff, you know? And I mean, I mean, who, like, I've never really worked out before. Like, why am I up here right now when I'm hot and sweating? I never really climbed mountains before. Is it even worth it really? Like, am I gonna be the best mountain climber anyway? Like, I could be back home right now. Just all of this is going through your brain while you're walking by yourself to climb this thing that just an hour ago, you were super charged. You know what I mean? You were super excited to take over. So you decide, all right, well, you know, I don't wanna give up just yet, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's hot and I need to take a break. So, you know, you're about two hours into the hike whatever, you decide to take a break, you sit down, and as you're sitting down, just taking your breather, you're still gonna climb that mountain though. Your leg starts to ache a little bit. You know, you realize, oh, I didn't quite pack the way that I should have. Uh, you know, the water, I drank all the water quite faster than I thought. 
you know, this is, I don't really, like, I'm not really a hiking person per se. Like, I don't, you know, I, now that I think about it, I don't really need to climb this mountain. I'm, I'm a good enough person anyway, and, you know, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know, but I just, today is not the day for me to climb the mountain, right? I, I just, I'm not feeling it. It's too hot. Right, and I'm, I'm just done, I'm just done. So you turn around after taking that break and you go back down. Now, do you think you're going to climb the mountain again? Like, already, like the experience you had today, trying to climb the mountain by yourself, you were hot, you were sweating, all that self-doubt, you were by yourself, just fighting your thoughts just to get through that like experience and for you that experience was terrible so you talked yourself out of climbing the mountain partially because let's really think about it you were by yourself right so every single time that you felt a little hot every single time you felt like your leg ached every single time you were like i don't even know if this is really my vibe i'm not really like the hiking type you know that's soft right you only had you to combat that conversation you didn't have somebody else who also wanted to climb the mountain or maybe has climbed the mountain a little further or at least just gotten a few steps farther to combat you and just be like yo you know let's just let's just keep going a little bit longer right so just imagine that you find somebody who also wants to climb the mountain right and so instead of having done it by yourself you and your buddy who also just wants to really have that badge of honor that we gonna climb this mountain you start going now the first hour even by yourself whiz by pretty easy because you're you steamed off motivation but it may even go quicker because you're talking to somebody and you're a little bit distracted right and so the first hour goes by like nothing and you start to maybe feel some of the same little oh i'm sweating i don't really know but this time you say out loud yo it's been like an hour like it's starting to get a little sunny or whatever and your friend might be like yo i'm you know i'm not even sweating really it's only been an hour let's just go for like another 30 minutes then we can take a break chill out get some water now in that context you're probably gonna just be like yeah no you're right you're right you're right you know what I'm saying? Your ego's gonna get involved. Like, I don't wanna be the softy in this hot sun being like, oh no, I'm so tired, I can't do it. So your ego's gonna make you push through for that next 30 minutes. So the next 30 minutes passes and you look over and your buddy is still not even winded yet. Now you're already 30 minutes past where you would have if you had gone by yourself. Your buddy's not even winded. Again, your ego's involved, so you're like, all right, I'm not even gonna say nothing. Uh, you know what I mean? This dude is clear. I'm sweating, but he don't even notice it. But I ain't gonna say nothing, because you know what I mean. I'm a hike. I'm, I was my idea to climb this mountain in the first place. So you go another 30 minutes. Now you're two hours in, twice as long as you would have if you had convinced yourself by yourself, right? Twice as long as you would have by yourself. And now you're two hours deep. And in two hours, you're sweating, you're feeling just as bad as you would have on your own. And you're eventually tired and you're just, the guy Kais can keep talking, he doesn't seem that they're winded. You're like, dude, we've been hiking for two hours without a break, man. I'm just exhausted, I'm sweating. I understand, it's great that you're here with me on this mountain, but we gotta take a break, right? I'm sweating like a hooker in church, man. I need to sit down. And your friend just looks at you, and you're just like, huh? And you're just looking at him like, yeah, let's take a break, dog. I'm sweating out here, man. I'm tired of this, man. I'm not, I'm not a hiking person. I just did it to show you I'm cool. And the friend just looks and he's like, and he just looks inside. Hey, what are you looking at, man? I'm hot. I'm tired. I'm on. A, I could be back playing video games, man. Watching how to rap Drew, man. What are you looking at? And your friend just points, and you look up, and you're ten minutes away from the top of the mountain. You've been so just exhausted and in your mind about how terrible this is and this guy's got a lot of nerve to just act like he gets done with this all the time, not noticing how tired you are, that you've already actually reached the mountain because you were with somebody else, because you used your ego in a positive way so that you would push farther and so you'd have somebody accountable and somebody to call you out on your BS, all right? Now, this is an extended metaphor for what it's like to be in the music industry or to, to get your, your skills up, any version of that, anything you're looking for right now where you're looking for motivation, this is why it's important to have other people around you. And, and the mountain, if you think of the mountain as getting better at music, if you think of the mountain as uh, going out and networking, anything past your comfort zone, right? Having somebody else there where sometimes you're going to keep pushing on just to save face and just to look cool. Sometimes you're going to keep pushing on because the friend's going to be like, it's really not that bad. And sometimes 
you're gonna keep pushing on, not even noticing that you're getting close to the goal. And by the time you're really, really exhausted, you're already there. All right, so that was today's video, kind of a cool different style with an extended metaphor. Again, if you've never watched this before, be sure to subscribe with notifications. We drop videos every single day on topics like this, motivation, how to get better at music, how to start a music career, all of that. And we always end with a question. Now, what was the last time that you personally struggled with motivation and tell us a little bit about that in the comments. I always read every single comment. Uh, I always respond or I try to unless you, they on that hating. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, I see y'all was talking about, they said I, I stole DJ Ghost, <laughs> DJ Ghost background, so I got the black and green. I don't think anyone has the black and green. All right, so how to rap Jew is calling the black and green his own. So anybody you see with that, roast them in the comments. Tell them look at how to rap Drew. He started that, right? The green is be taking over, getting that moolah. Anyway, thank you again. I'll see you in the comments. Tell me about your motivation, and we'll talk soon. This is Big Homie Drew. I'm out.